Hi everyone. So I've been doing more Kakuro, or I think probably that's how you say it, Kakuro. Um, and I'm getting, I think, pretty good at them. So just, you know, um, I thought maybe we can chat again about what it's like to be learning this puzzle, some tips and tricks for learning it especially if you're not a puzzles type of person. So I have eight puzzles here on this one page. I always like to fold it up like this. I don't know why. It just makes me feel better. Okay. Oh, it's kind of far away, isn't it? Hang on. Okay, maybe now you can see better. So, um... Um, let's just see how quickly we can do these puzzles. I'll talk through the first half and then the second half we can just chat and go. So like last time, starting with small numbers, I know that 4 is 1 and 3, 3 is 1 and 2, and I know that um, 11 can't be made using a 1, so 2, 1, 9, um, this is 7 or 5, that's fine, because I know that 29 is 9, 8, 7, 5, always and forever, amen, so that's okay. Um, and then 11 is 1, 2, 3, 5. I know that. So, um, I look here and I know that to make 13 in two numbers, I can't use 1, 2, or 3, so this has to be 5. This has to be 8 then, 2. Um, let's keep looking. So this has to be 1, 2, or 3. I can't make 12 in two numbers using one or two. So this is three, nine, and four. Here's, and I need one and two still in this col column, but there's a one here already, so here's two. Um, here's one. I need the same numbers here also. So I see that this can be one or three. I can put three here, one here, seven here, <coughs> um, five here, and eight here, okay? So we are done. Let's keep going. Um, small numbers. One and three, one and three. Can't make 11 using one, so this is three. This is eight. Um, 10 is four, three, two, one. 17 is eight and nine. This is four and three. Okay, that's fine. Five is one and four, or two and three. Seven. This doesn't really help me here. I need nine, eight, seven, five on this column. Seventeen, I need eight and nine. Thirteen, then, I need five or six. But, or what? What am I saying? Five or four. Yeah but four can't be in this column because it's not in this combo. So here it is, eight and nine. So, where can we go next? Hmm. Oh, well I know this is one. That doesn't help much. I just kind of, I get lost in these puzzles sometimes, you know? <laughs> kind of difficult to keep track of yourself and your heart. Okay, oh, okay, I need a nine in this column, but I have nine in this row, so nine goes here, eight goes here, nine goes here, three goes here, and seven. I need 
to here. Um, so now we just need to fill in here. I need four and one still here. So let's look if this was four. Right, this can't be four because then all this adds up to 20. So that's not right. So this has to be one and this has to be two, three, four. Okay, let's keep going. Um, here we have four, so one and three, one and three. That makes this five. Okay, so I can't put three into six because then I would have to repeat three. So it's five, one, three. Here's three, so that's one and two, and one and two, and then five and four here. Five's already here, so four, two, one. 17 is eight and nine, eight and nine, and then two and three. And I need here um, nine, eight, seven, five, because we know that about 29, it's just knowledge. Those are just facts. What else can we say? We have... This one is not very good for doing quickly, I guess, because it's a lot of numbers that I think you can't say much about right off the bat. But let's still look. Oh, I just realized I've been off center this whole time. Oops. I'll stay here now. Um, okay, so we have nine here, which means we need to make 17. And we know what to do with 17. So it's 8 and 9, or 8 and 9, there. Um, 20, we need to make 19 still. That will take care of itself. So I, okay, here we can do something here. The only number in this combination for 29 is, uh, that's less than 6 is 5. So I know 5 has to go here, 1, 6. Um, so now we have 9, so we need to make 16 here. This can be, to make 16, it would be 7 or 8, depending on if this is 8 or 9. We can't have two 8s, so this is 9. This is 7. Um, and then here we have 8. Um, now we just need to fill this section, so 9. I need to make 11, so it's 8 or 9 here. Oh golly. How do we know what to do? This makes me feel a little bit like I don't know what to do now. Okay. Well, oh, okay, so 8 can't be here, so this has to be 9, this has to be 8, this has to be 9, and then this has to be 2. Okay, done. Are we centered? Yes. Small numbers. The only thing one, um, the only thing that 3 and 4 share in their combinations is 1, so you can just say that. 8 or 9, 8 or 9, one, um, 2 or 3, 3 is 1 and 2 which makes this seven or six. Six is not in the combination for 29 that we know, so that resolves that. Hmm. What else can we say right now? I need Oh, I can't have three here, because I have three here, so two, um, nine, and eight. So I still need one four for this ten. For this twenty-nine, I need a nine or a five here, because there's an eight in this column already. Um, Okay, 
Okay, to make this 14. I'm just thinking because um, I need to make 12 and 3 spaces here. Oh. I didn't even think about that right, so never mind. <laughs> just never mind. Um, 15 is 9 and 6, or 8 and 7. Is that right? Yes. So here it can only be 8, 7, or 6. Here it could be 9, 7, or 6. 7's already here, so it can't be 7 here, so it can't be 6 here. Wait. Can't be. So it can't be 8 here. It can be. Is that right? 9 and 6? Six? 6 and. What am I saying? <laughs> Um, 7 can't be here, so 8 can't be here, so it could be, it could be 7, 8, or it could be 6, 9. Right. So that makes this 2 or 3. 2 is already there, so it's 3. Six, nine, that makes this five. That makes this four. That makes this one. And then we need eight. Okay, so let's just um, see how quickly we can do the other side. Look at the time on YouTube now and see how quickly we can go, okay? Wait, I'm already forgetting what I'm doing, <laughs> like, for myself. Why can't this one be eight? This one can be eight. It's goofy. Okay, nine, eight, seven. This can only be... Right, I'm not talking anymore. make a mistake. And it should be okay, right? Oh, this isn't 29. I was assuming it was 29. Forget everything.
I feel like I don't know enough to do this one quickly. That's it. Um, so obviously, um, that wasn't like very quick because this video is going on like 20 <laughs> minutes, but um, I mean to me, someone who just started doing these puzzles, I feel like, um, you know, the speed at which I can do them feels, um, is feeling pretty quick. I do um, about one of these pages every day just to kind of get used to um, everything because <clears throat> when I started um, learning Picross with Pokemon Picross, like the reason I'm so good at it now is because it has like this daily, um, daily training, right? And so this is kind of like my daily training where you get take a really easy puzzle and then try to solve it really quickly. Um, yeah, so, um, this part, this part feels good, you know, you feel really clever when you're able to solve these really quickly. Um, so, here are some of my tips for, um, learning Kakuro and getting better at it and preparing yourself to do the bigger puzzles. Um... Oh, we should make a, like, just make a little list up here. So, um, I think one, um, good thing for you to practice if you want to get really good at this or any puzzle is to, um, recognize the patterns that the rules of the puzzle, um, create in a puzzle. So, stuff like three can only be made with one and two, four can only be made with one and three, you know stuff like that. Um, and you don't need to remember all of them all the time, but it is really handy dandy to keep um, your favorite ones in your back pocket. And those are what make the puzzle possible, right? And when you're first learning it, um, you kind of have to like really power your brain through figuring these things out because there's not any guidebook anywhere um, about like the consistent patterns in Kakuro and 
um, the reason you remember them is because you worked through them yourself. So what you should do is look for patterns and try to remember them um, well so that you can go quickly. Um, I think another tip I have for you if you want to get really good is to um, do puzzles every day. Um, you should always um, flex your flex your brain muscle as much as you can, um, and it feels good to finish these, you know? It feels good to, like, see your skill in that, so you should just, if you can get, like, a book, um, like, I have a book of puzzles on its way to me, or you, if you want to just print out, like, eight of these, um, like I do, and just, like, take it with you, you know? When you're on the bus, work through one, um, I mean, they take, like, just a couple minutes, so... It's a perfect way to um, just like pass time during the day, do stuff like that, and so if you're just doing them every day, then you can quickly figure out um, what's going on. Um, and a third one I have for you is if you really like easy puzzles, um, and you don't necessarily want to move up to the harder ones, you know, do that, and if you want, if your goal is to move up to the harder ones, then do that, you know? Puzzles are about having fun and enjoying yourself, and even if the average person is working through like 20 by 20 Kakuro puzzles, if that's what it feels like to you, um, then, you know, <laughs> I don't think, oh, that would be really difficult a 20 by 20 puzzle, but you know, if that's what it feels like to you, but you enjoy doing the 5 by 5 ones, then just do the 5 by 5 ones, you know? Like, it's all about your enjoyment and you shouldn't care, you know, what level everyone else is on, um, or, you know, if people are doing more difficult puzzles than you or quicker than you, you know, it's all about your personal achievement and, you know, feeling good solving a puzzle and just flexing your brain a little bit, you know. Um, I don't know, I guess. That might be it. I think my last tip for you is that um, it's okay to make mistakes. And um, going off of that, it's okay to give up. If you have a puzzle that you made a mistake on and you don't know how far to backtrack, um, or just the puzzle that you're doing is just so difficult and it's really bothering you, it's okay to give up. I mean, the part of puzzles that feels really good is when you figure out something that was really bothering you about it, you know, when you figure out a really difficult part of the puzzle. And it makes you feel really clever and that's that's why we do puzzles, right? But if you made a mistake and you don't know where you went wrong, you know, that's just a pain and it's not fun anymore and it makes you feel dumb and that's not a good feeling. So if you do that, you know, don't be afraid to make your mistake. It doesn't make you bad at puzzles and it doesn't make you um, any less of a, of a good puzzler, right? Um, and don't be afraid to give up if it bothers you, you know? Um, the things that you do should be all about having fun and um, that includes doing puzzles because literally there's no point to doing this stuff. Like, you gain nothing except for your own enjoyment. So if you're not enjoying it, then just um, just don't do it. So, yeah. Those are my tips and tricks for learning Kakuro and learning every puzzle, um, that's out there, basically. So, yeah, I hope if you are, you know, learning a new puzzle or working on one that you've known for a while. Um, I hope that you are having a good time. Um, and thanks for watching.